This is a 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ. It's fully built. All top of the line parts on this rig. walk around video and show you some of the stuff it has on it. We have a Dana 30 front axle. It's built with uh, 488 gears. It has a Yukon limited slip differential. All new bearing seals. Uh, everything in the differential is new. We've got axle tube seals. We've got heavy, uh, heavy duty ball joints, upper and lower. Um, new U joints, Spicer U joints all around. Every U joint on the rig is new. Uh, got a stinky fab track bar bracket, uh, aluminum, aluminum track bar, double adjustable, stinky fab, uh, Johnny joint end, rebuildable, adjustable, flex joints on both ends, uh, stinky fab racing upper, upper uh, track bar bracket, Super heavy duty. Got cab fab off road. One ton steering system. This is a, uh, these are solid bars. Completely solid. Super, super heavy duty. Uh, ARB or OME. Uh, performance steering stabilizer with a the steering stabilizer bracket on there uh, got this I believe, it was, I believe it was rough stuff specialties shift cover and as you can see that thing is super thick super beefy uh, it's got integrated custom steering stabilizer mount. This would be pretty easy to convert over to hydro if you wanted to, hydro assist. Uh, stinky fab racing track bar. Uh, brace ties in all the way across the unibody. Keeps everything nice and sturdy and firm. Custom double adjustable quick disconnect sway bar links. So you can pop those off real quick and easy to articulate off road. Billet aluminum. We also got. Got Rubicon Express. These are three and a half inch coil springs. Some JKS ACOS uh, bump stops with the adjustable spacer there. This is easily adjustable to to dial in your ride height. So if you want to go a little bit higher, that's super easy to do. Got some. Pro Comp uh, premium reservoir shocks. These things ride super nice. Uh, got lots of travel. And we've got the bullet aluminum uh, brackets to hold that reservoir on. We've got <clears throat> unibody 
uh, tie-ins for the front bumper. Also stiffens up the, uh, the unibody a bit. Uh, we've got steel braided extended brake lines. Some uh, performance brakes. For the long arm suspension, they're long arms for a uh, much better ride and articulation, especially at this at this lift height. Definitely want some long arms, and these are super nice long arms. They've got the, the Rusty's high clearance long arm kit. So we've got fully adjustable upper and lower arms, and some rebuildable some rebuildable flex joints as well as uh, rubber bushings on the axle end for a nice soft ride to dampen the vibrations Got a heavy duty cross member as well MP231 transfer case. This is a, it's got an SYE slip yoke eliminator kit on it. And then some custom heavy duty Adams driveline drive shafts, front and rear. Let me show you this. Adams driveline, super nice. Drive lines, quality parts. Uh, Flowmaster exhaust, got a Banks header, performance header, I'll show you that later. Um, Rubicon Express, three and a half inch leaf packs in the back. These are full leaf packs, no lip locks or anything like that, no out of leafs. Full leaf packs. We've got the Stinky Fab, I believe it was Stinky Fab. Um, shackle relocation box to dial in your shackle angle as well as some stinky fab adjustable shackles very beefy check that out nice and thick steel got it right here give you a nice angle to make your ride nice and smooth New shocks in the rear as well. Uh, the rear is an 8.25 Chrysler 8, eight and a quarter. It's got a solid differential cover, uh, 488 gears, uh, Yukon limited slip. So you got the Yukon limited slips front and rear. They're awesome awesome differentials so good for all around driving and they perform awesome off-road you can't even tell they're in there on the road full custom exhaust from the header back Master, so long arms, high clearance arms. See the bend there gives you a lot more clearance for the rocks. Uh, as I said, fully adjustable, nice and thick rod ends. The entire undercarriage, everything's been stripped and everything's been. Uh, undercoated so it was nice and protected underneath everywhere uh, when the axles were done everything was totally stripped clean all new paint and everything oh also rear new uh, 
sorry, um, new rear main seal and oil pan gasket. front we've got this sweet winch bumper it's got the frame tie-ins like I mentioned uh, 10,000 pound winch up front we've got integrated LED bars some flush mounted ones and then a 20 inch bar we've got a smoked lenses and then some some hidden some hidden lights back there as well. And then the Haas fair lead for the synthetic winch line. Some pre-LED headlights. Love these headlights, they're super nice. Bright up, light up everything. Smoke, smoke signals all around some Napier precision hood vents on the hood we got bed lined hood and lower quarters looks really nice some dirty life gold wheels and match the, the paint on this Jeep super good. I love the look. Really nice wheels. Got the simulated beadlock rings. These are some notch X-Max fender flares. Gives you tons of clearance for the bigger tires. These are 35 inch by 12 and a half tires on 17 inch wheels, 17 by nine, nine inch, I believe. So these are the KM3 tires. JCR off JCR off-road rear quarter armor with the rub rail. Uh, lower quarter armor there. And then it's got a full tail light replacement with the LEDs. Nice and bright backup lamps. And Some good armor going, all paint matched to the the color on the sheep is called desert sand pearl. So it's got a nice pearl to it, and the sh and the sun will sparkle. Got some metal metal flaking in it. The rear bumper is a JCR off road uh, Vanguard, I believe. It's got the swing out carrier. Really nice carrier. Sturdy latch assembly. Swings out nice and smooth. Uh, yeah, it's just a really sturdy setup. And um, we've also got the option that I left open for the new owner. Uh, you can put another carrier right there. You've got an option for like a jerry can holder, um, fold down table, all kinds of different things you can add to it other than the spare tire and then you got dual swing outs it's got a full-size adventure rack up top with a slim single row LED bar integrated on there Good looking. Probably missing a bunch of stuff, but doing my best. Let's see here. Got all the power options. 
We've got the nice tan interior. It's in super, super good shape. <clears throat> Carpet looks amazing all around. We've got the form fitted floor liners. Seats are all in amazing shape. Got a, a, a touch screen, eight inch head unit there. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, lots of other stuff. You got all your standard stuff like the radio and and uh, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. We've got the switch, switch panel. We've got the, we've got a case suspension uh, fan switch here so you can override the fan and have it run at all times if you want and this is the bumper setup and the LED bar up on the rack the MP231 shift selection there got an AW4 transmission automatic Got some flush mounted USB ports. You can plug in your iPhone or Android, whatever you have. Charge that, connect it up to CarPlay. Rear wiper and the frost and power outlet. Got AC and heat, they both work awesome. Let's see, put it back. Interior looks awesome. Throw the stuff back here. Husky liners. We've got a eight inch sub under here. Sounds really good. Really helps fill in the sound. swings out we're gonna have this little stop there rear cargo area carpets in really good shape all around looks almost new Seats look almost new. This thing is in absolute beautiful condition. Headliner looks great. So we've got a JCR off-road mull panel. You can hook all kinds of gadgets on there. Uh, flashlight, your handgun, whatever you got, you can hook up there for quick access. Uh, got the original manual and everything. Winch remote. Let me Got rear backup cam and license plate light. So the swing out carrier works really smoothly. You start it up real fast. Under the hood, got lots of goodies. Uh, got this 
PSC power steering pump reservoir. Uh, I've got a bunch of new stuff under here. Full new tune-up, plugs, wires. Uh, Loud body gasket. Uh, sorry. Valve cover gasket. Uh, door. Cool air intake. It's a super nice intake setup. It gives you actual cool air. Uh, it also relocates your air intake up much higher than the stock location or other fuel air intakes. We've got fully insulated uh, fuel rail. Got a billet aluminum fuel rail cover. Case suspension, performance, 12 pole injectors. Uh, Mishimoto uh, radiator lines, upper and lower. Got a new radiator, brand new AC condenser, uh, compressor, uh, new hose, AC hoses. Got this aluminum valve cover and to uh, under there we've got some uh, roller rockers. So we got some upgraded rockers, little lifters. What else we got? Oh, case suspension, foil pack. Heavy gauge wiring, got case suspension, uh, cable upgrade for all the power systems. Nice and thick cables to feed everything. Got new thermostat, uh, sensor, housing, new water pump. Lots, lots of videos under here. I know I'm forgetting some things. I just can't remember everything at the top of my head right now. Uh, real key sensor. Yeah. Coolant reservoir. Lots of stuff. Do one more walk around. Take it for a, for a spin. Love this color. It's really good looking, especially with these wheels. Love the look. Yeah, I just remembered a few things. Uh, forgot to mention the cylinder head. It's, it's got a, a new clear water cylinder head. So completely eliminated the 0331 stock head. Replaced it with the upgrade. Um, it's got ARP head studs, um, head bolts. Uh, what else did I miss? It's got a bank header. Bank's header, as you can see. I think it's called a power pickle header. Uh, what else? The rockers are the Harlan, Harlan Sharp, Sharp rockers, roller rockers. Uh, Got an upgraded E-Fan, also wired up to case suspension uh, switch, override switch. New belt, uh, 
What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, Power Bastards 220 amp alternator down there. Uh, got a transmission cooler, power steering cooler. Um, what else? What else? I'm trying to think of everything. Oh, I forgot to mention these notch custom sliders. They integrate really nicely with the notch players. Nice sleek design. Took up nice and high. And what else? Yeah, I think uh, it's almost everything. I'm sure I still forgot some things, but I thought I'd pop back and mention those because it's quite a few things I missed, but there you go. Got super low miles on this thing. It's about 113K. Uh, idle's awesome. This thing runs really, really good. I already showed you some of this stuff. Oh, here's the CarPlay. So you got all those options. <clears throat> um, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. We got our uh, rear camera. Um, yeah, all the power options. I will out to the highway and I'll be right back. Got a nice streak on the windshield. Also got um, the K 
suspension upgraded headlight wiring harness as well on here. Flip on these lights. Check them out real quick. So it's gonna be the uh, the rack and the fogs up front. That's on low beam headlights. High beam will fill that whole housing. Uh, I forgot to mention also the, the rear has reverse lights, LED pods integrated in there for some super bright um, backup lights. This thing is really, really well built, super clean, very capable rig, rides great, highway, it'll eat up the trails, um, just like a, such an amazing all around rig. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.